So here we have the Volkswagen Golf GTI five door on a 67 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's got alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. If you approach the back of the car, you'll see we've got those twin exhaust pipes. This car's also got reversing sensors, as you may be able to see, and a reversing camera. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see not only is it a great looking car, but it's in wonderful condition the whole way around. Just briefly before climbing in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You can see that it's got the Interlagos seat, uh, which is kind of a nod to the early 80s uh, Golf GTIs. There's plenty to run through uh, inside the car in terms of the dashboard controls. So let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer, which also includes a digital readout for the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total miles on this car are 9,675. There's various different menus you can access using buttons on the steering wheel. As you work your way through, you'll see satellite navigation, audio, your phone, vehicle status, lap timer, and then driving data. Uh, you can then enter any of those menus and go through to see various things, including having another digital readout for the speedometer in the middle there. Backing out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a moment ago are these ones just here. On the left-hand side, we have cruise control. With this button in the middle, once you activate cruise control, the car is able to maintain a distance by itself between you and the car in front, both slowing you down and speeding you up accordingly. There's a video on our website showing exactly how that works. Uh, it's well worth watching that video. Over to the middle, we have the touch screen system. So uh, at the moment, you can see the radio is being displayed there. In terms of radio, you've got DAB, FM, and AM. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do just hit the media button and then source, and you can see all the different ways in which you can listen to your own music. So there's a CD player, two SD memory card slots, USB input, Bluetooth audio, and auxiliary input as well, and a wireless connection. Uh, so plenty of ways to listen to music in this car. You can pair your phone through here, this car's got satellite navigation as well. There's a full video showing that working on our website, which is well worth checking out as well. And if we pop the car into reverse, you'll see that we've got a full color camera with the guidelines showing you what direction the car would be headed in, in relation to the image that you see behind you. Working our way down, we've got dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature on either side of the car and then the fan speed in the middle. Hit that button to turn the air conditioning on or hit auto and the car will take control of the fan speed itself to maintain those temperatures and you can override that by readjusting the fan speed at any time. We've also got a heated driver and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings until you turn them off. This cubby hole will open up and within there we've got the auxiliary and USB inputs. Inside the glove box is where you'll find the CD player and SD memory card slots. We then have a six speed manual gearbox designed to look like a golf ball. And then we've got a few buttons either side of that. So this button will turn on or off the front parking sensors. Putting the car in reverse will automatically put all of them on. Over to the left, we can turn off traction control. We can turn off the stop and start. This car's designed to cut out when you're stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That's what you're turning off if you hit that button. And we've got driver modes. If I hit that button up there, you can see we've got eco, normal, sport or individual. And you can set the car into any one of them modes. And the things that you are changing or you're able to change are all listed there. So the steering, drive, front differential lock, air conditioning, uh, you know, there's lots and lots of things and you can change any of these. So you can customize it. So you have it set up uh, to whatever you want it to. So that would be now our individual settings. If we decided to leave it on individual, that's how the car is set up. Or you can just go for the pre-set uh, programs if you like as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.